Welcome, racing fans, to RP Express, and uh, we're here to go over uh, the full results from this weekend. So we'll do that in a second. First Thursday will be RP Full Throttle, where we break down all the races from this weekend and uh, a jam-packed program coming up this Thursday. Uh, so looking forward to that. The big news yesterday was Jimmy Johnson winning the uh, Full of Honors uh, Quick Trips 250. And, um, and not only that, that, um, excuse me, the Full of Honors Quick Trip 500. Why did I say 254? I'm reading the wrong sheet. So, uh, Dale, uh, Jimmy Johnson winning yesterday, his 76th career win on Sunday, and ties Dale Senior for all time wins. Um, so, very good race on, on, Sunday, they went 210 laps before the first lap 210 uh, by the time the uh, first caution came out. So they broke a new record for the most laps at Atlanta Motor Speedway without a yellow flag flying. Um, there was a black flag flying for Matt Kenseth. Uh, that was an issue yesterday. Um, and uh, for those who haven't heard, so what happened was uh, one of the wrench guys handed a wrench over to the gas man, and the gas man just grabbed the wrench for like a hot second and placed it on the, the trunk lid of the number 20 car. And because he had the gas can and the wrench at the same time, uh, NASCAR popped him. Uh, they got popped, the 20 team got popped with what they call improper fueling. Uh, so NASCAR dictates that the, fuel, the guy's gas man can't do anything else but refuel and because you grab the the wrench and it's the wench wrench right so the thing they do the uh when they adjust the chassis so he handed him the wrench grabbed the wrench for like a second placed it on the uh trunk lid of the car uh, and uh just from that got popped so Kenseth comes out has to serve a pass through because this happened during the uh, green flag pit stops uh comes around but doesn't do the pass through so now they throw the black flag out there and uh, he finally comes back in for the pass through, and then uh, got docked two laps. The first lap got do he got docked one lap for a pit road uh, violation, and then got doc docked a second lap for ignoring the black flag. So the black flag means they want you to, you know, the officials want to come want you coming back in. The then is the black flag with the cross on it, and that means you're screwed. <laughs> so that means they have, they, they stop scoring you. So now you gotta come in. So basically, that's what that is. So here's the full results, okay, from all the drivers this weekend. And again, we got full details of all the races from this weekend, and we're gonna do that on Thursday, 7:45 apodradio.com, Springer.com, here to exports. But just go to apodradio.com. It's a, first off, apodradio.com, okay, uh, built the website myself um, using Squarespace, okay, Squarespace is a service we can build a, a website on, and uh, Spreaker automatically, it's set up so that uh, Spreaker automatically updates the most recent podcast at apodradio.com, and that's the best way to find the podcast, there's really only three that are running right now. That'd be RP Express, RP Full Throttle, and College Sport Check. So, and soon, uh, Baseball Update will be making a return. And uh, maybe we might be bringing back the Double D, but I haven't decided yet. Alright, so, we'll start with the uh, Sprint Cup Series results, okay? Uh, we're just here to tell you what drivers came in fit and, and then their finishing position. Alright, and then uh, we'll get... In, so we'll start with the uh, Sprint Cup Series again on Sunday, which was the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. And uh, first place winner, Jimmy Johnson in the 48 car, 76th career win. Finishing second was Dale Jr. in the double eight, and then you had Kyle Busch in third place in the 18. So you had the 48, the double eight, and the 18 uh, rounding out the top three. Finishing fourth place was Kurt Busch in the 41 car. Fifth place was Carl Edwards. Kevin Harvick comes in sixth. Truex Jr. finishes seventh. Uh, Chase Elliott eighth. Brad Keselowski ninth. Tenth place was Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Austin Dillon, he finishes in an eleventh place. Twelfth place is Joey Logano. Thirteenth would be Greg Biffle. 
14 is Casey Mears. Eric Amarola, he finishes in 15th. Uh, his car, he, he went into the wall, right, as the, during the final lap, the white flag, uh, they did go into overtime yesterday, scheduled laps for this race on Sunday was 325, and they hit the 330, uh, lap mark. Coming in 16th was Denny Hamlin, 17th was Ty Dillon, Paul Menard, he comes in in 18th, Matt Kenseth finishes in 19th, and Danica Patrick finishes in 20th. Finishing in 21st, Jay McMurray. 22nd was Trevor Bain. 23rd, Casey Kane. Um, okay. Uh, Ryan Newman comes in 24th. For the reason I thought I missed somebody. That's why I stopped first. Okay. Alright, so uh, 21st, Jay McMurray. 22nd, Trevor Bain. 23rd, Casey Kane. 24th, Ryan Newman. 25th was Ryan Blaney. Alright. Kyle Larson comes in 26th. AJ Allen Nigga 27th. Chris Boshow was 28th. 29th was Matt D. Benedetto. Uh, Michael Annette comes in 30th. 31st was Brian Scott. 32nd, David Reagan. Michael McDowell comes in 33rd. Reagan Smith comes in 34th. Uh, Clint Boyer comes in 35th. 36th was Lynn Castle. Cole Witt was 37th. 38th, Dale Earn, uh, Jeffrey Earnhardt. And then Josh Weiss comes in 39th. And for some reason, they had nobody in the 40th spot. So uh, there you go. Three questions yesterday. First one will come out lap 210 uh, for Debray. And then the, 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 the second one came out. It might have been lap three. There was, I think there was like four or five laps when the second question came out. And that was Reagan Smith, the seven car. He, uh, he lost it. Almost hit the wall. Got some damage to the car though, but did not hit the wall. That brought out the second question, which sent the race into overtime. And then the third question comes out right after the white flag, and that was Eric Amarola. And they had a successful restart, re reaching the OT line, which at Atlanta is in the middle of the backstretch. All right. So the ex explanation is, from what I gathered yesterday when I was watching um the uh, restart line, they put it far away so the cars don't wreck on the restart. Now, this is just for green, white, checkered. That's the only thing the OT line is for, and that's why they put it so far away. The restart area for all the other restarts on the normal circumstances is still in the same spot, and that's the two other lines before the start-finish line. So there you go. Uh, heads up, Georgia 250 was the Xfinity Series event, and uh, this race ran about one hour and five minutes. Um, and then there was also some a truck racing, a double header on, on Sunday, uh, excuse me, on Saturday, which was fantastic. I love it. It was like just straight, <laughs> non stop racing. And then you had about a good three hours or maybe four hours of racing on Sunday. But then on Fox Sports 1, after that, was NHRA. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, um, so here are the full results from the Saturday's Xfinity, Ser uh, uh, Xfinity Series event. Okay? And that would be the Heads Up Georgia 250. Winner on Saturday would be Kyle Busch in the 18 car. Second place was Kyle, Bu uh, Kyle Larson. Finishing third, Eric Jones. Finishing fourth, Paul Menard. Ty Dillon finishes fifth. Bart Keselowski finishes sixth. He's in. He was in the 22 car on Saturday. Paul Menard was. He was in the number two. So finishing seventh was Daniel Suarez. Number eight, Elliot. Uh, eighth place was uh, Justin Aljaya. Elliot Sadler finishes ninth. Jeff Burton finishes tenth. Finishing 11th in the 33 car was Brandon Jones, and finishing 12th in the, the 88 car was Kevin Harvick. Finishing 13th was Brandon Goen. Uh, Brandon Poole, he comes in 14th. Ryan Reed, 15th. Ryan Sieg, 16th. Jeremy Clement, 17th. Dale Wallace, Jr., 18th. JJ Ely in 19th. Blake Koch comes in 20th. 21st was Dakota, uh, Dakota Armstrong. Ryan Priest comes in 22nd. Corey Lohi comes in 23rd. Garrett Smith Lee comes in 24th. Finishing 25th was Mario Gosselin. BJ McLeod finishes in 26th place. Derek Cope in 27th. 
Ross Chastain in 28th, Chris Cockrum in 29th, Mike Harmon in 30th. Cody Ware finishes 31st, Joey Gase finishes 32nd, and uh, Ray Black Jr. in the 07 car, he finishes 33rd. Now, 34th and 40th, these guys wind up dropping out, but scored 34th was Josh Rion, 35th was Harris Rhodes, Carl Long, 36th, Morgan Sheffer, 37th, Todd Peck, 38th, David Starr, 39th, and Jeff Green was 40th. And that brings us to Saturday evening for uh, Camping World Truck Series, and uh, this one too, an hour 45 minutes. That was it. Uh, this was the Great Clips 200. Uh, five questions come out for this one. Questions one and three for the sh the uh, question clock expiring. So w winner right here was John Hunter Nemechek, and then, um, Matt Crafton, the 88 truck man. He was buggy in first place, and then he had that crazy crash. And uh, if you saw that truck. It was three trucks involved right towards the end of that race, uh, close to the end of the race. And um, what happened was, and I'll explain this better on Thursday. So the 88 truck of Matt Crafted in front of the four truck of Christopher Bell. Next to them was the 51 truck of Daniel Suarez. And what happened was, was they were clumped together. It was just these three trucks. The now, how am I going to explain this? The I'm going to do it right quick. That's how. So the right front of the four, okay, he he loses it. The right front of the four goes into the left rear of the 51, make causing the 51 to go into the 88. So the right rear goes into the the right front of the four into the left rear of the 51. Then the left front of the 51 goes into the right rear of the 88. If the 4 hits the wall a little bit, the 88 bangs into that wall. And, uh, and the 51 was just right there. So, And the crazy part was, after all of that, the 4 truck wound up in the lead. And, and if you're a racing fan, see people who don't watch racing a lot probably won't appreciate it. If you got wrecked and the guy that caused the wreck once went in the race, <laughs> that is like a, oh, that's crazy, okay? Because um, <laughs> especially when you're that close to the end of the race, and and uh, Crafter was bogeying too in the double eight, and uh, but the four he went up wrecking too a little bit after that, so and wound up John, uh, John Hunter and Nemechek wound up uh, taking that one. So the winner, John Hunter Nemechek, in the Eight truck finishing second was Cameron Haley. Third place was Timothy Peters, Daniel Hemrick in fourth, and then Grant Enfinger finishes fifth. Ben Rhodes finishes sixth. John West Townley finishes seventh. Eighth place was uh, Parker Kelgerman. Caleb Holman finishes eighth in the seventy-five truck, and uh, Spencer Gallagher in the number twenty-three finishes tenth. Rico Abre ooh, uh, finishes in eleventh. Austin Hill in twelfth. Tyler Young in 13th, 14th was uh, Tyler Reddick in the 29, and uh, 15th place was Ben Kennedy in the double one machine. Uh, finishing 16, Austin Wayne Self. 17th was Cole Custer, the double zero. 18 was Garrett Smithley. Brennan Brown, he finishes 19th. Ryan Truex, he finishes 20th. Timmy Hill finishes 21st. Justin Marks in 22nd, Travis Vopel, 23rd, JJ Ely, the 07, in uh, 24th, and Tommy Joe's Martin, Tommy Joe Martins, and he finishes in uh, 25th. Finishing 26th, Christopher Bell, Johnny Sauter finishes 28th, Jennifer Joe Cobb finishes 10th, Matt Crafton finishes in 30th, Daniel Suarez in 31st, and uh, William Byron in 31st.